I want to bring you some highlights about the recent Bilderberg conference that ended on June 14th in line with mastering the human domain in a global command and control society under the guise of global government governance. Let's look at some of the key topics for discussion that they had. Artificial intelligence, cyber security, globalism. Now, I believe this is the first time that globalism's actually been noted on the agenda. It may have been in the past year, but prior years it was not. Terrorism and U.S. elections. So who attends Bilderberg? The prime architects for the design and development of global governments. I'll leave a link for this website and you can click on the attendee list and see lists of names of all the attendees. They're either corporate or government affiliations and from what nations they are from. But I wanted to bring to your attention some of the key uh, players that were on the steering committee. Peter Thiel, PayPal, co-founder and major investor in Facebook. Eric Schmidt, executive chairman of Google. Ken Jacobs, CEO of Lazard. Who and what is Lazard? Kenneth Jacobs. Lazard was founded in the 1800s, 1848, I believe, and has initially been focused on financial and asset management. Lazard, a multinational concern, is in 43 cities across 27 countries and is now branched off into other areas specializing in energy, media and communications technology. In a press release dated September 18, 2014, Lazard stated in its new, quote, new levelized cost of energy analysis, end quote, large scale conventional generation pro projects such as the IGCC or integrated gasification combined cycle or nuclear continue to face a number of challenges, including high absolute costs, significant cost contingencies, competition from natural gas in many other parts of the world, and policy uncertainty. Notwithstanding these issues, alternative energy sources will not be capable of meeting the baseload generation needs of an advanced economy for the foreseeable future. Lazard's Global Power, Energy, and Infrastructure Group serves private and public sector clients with advisory services regarding mergers and acquisitions, financing, and other strategic matters. The group is active in all areas of the traditional and alternative energy industries, including regulated utilities, independent power producers, advanced transportation technologies, renewable energy technologies, power metering and monitoring, smart grid and energy efficient technologies and infrastructure. This sounds a lot like, to me, they may be headed towards global energy rationing in order to levelize the costs to these privatized energy corporations to increase their own profits. How will they accomplish this? They just said, Everything will be tied into a grid, it already is, and now with these smart grids and smart meters, everything can be controlled centrally by a computer. The next steering committee chairman I wanted to focus on is Alex Karp, CEO of Palantir, which is a CIA-funded data mining junk. Palantir Corp, what do they specialize in? Defense. From from strategy to operations to tactics, from reachback facilities to the tactical edge of the battlefield, Palantir Defense gives the warfighter immediate access to the latest critical information, removing the technical barriers to better driven decision making. Hmm, where have we heard that before? And they were an attendee at the 2015 GeoInt conference, which ended on June 25th, 2015. These are some of the capabilities they boast. First, transform massive scale data from multiple intelligence disciplines into actionable insight. Now, this is predictive reaction and response from ABI or activity-based 
intelligence as well as other forms of data being collected on the human terrain to master the human domain. Next, synchronized data for collaborative analysis and improved situational awareness at every echelon. Now, this is total command and control, the mastering of all domains, land, sea, space, and cyberspace. This also goes to J2's Prodigy Battle Planning Module. Next, push the latest data and advanced analytics to the tactical edge of the battlefield. Palantir Defense's global knowledge management capabilities track every read, write, and edit function, preserving the accumulated knowledge of the battle space. Now, this goes directly to the CBR, or the case-based reasoning model in GON, as well as in Jade, Hel Jade 2, uh, which pr produces an ACOA, or an adaptive course of action, to be employed in a military action, or in a COA, or a civilian operation area. Next, fuse Intel Ops and other functions into a single mission command system. What have we been talking about? This is total command and control. And last but not least, field capability that works today at scale and at war. The at scale they're referring to is global. Given the agenda topics outlined and the virtually no information regarding the content of those topics that will be discussed and given the steering committee executives or, or chairmen of this edition of the Bilderberg meeting should leave no question in most people's minds that number one, they are still tending to take their agenda full swing. And that entails global governance. And in order to achieve that, they're intending to put the wheels in motion to master the human domain. Thank you for watching and please share this video.